Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox or VMware. And this is an updated tutorial from my first video on the channel, and that was over a year ago. And um, this is just kind of an update, and uh, it's more easier, well, it's more, uh, should be more user friendly, and it should work more for more people. Uh, I've seen complications. A lot of people have been giving me uh, that they've been having problems with the video uh, or with the installation, and I want to make an updated tutorial. So, if you guys have come from the uh, old Windows 95 video, this should work. If not, I can try and figure out as much as possible what's going on because this should work. And I have not been able to get uh, the method I tried before with the. Uh, MS-DOS 6.22 to work anymore so um, you saw in my last video if you haven't watched it the link will be in the description of how to install MS-DOS 7.1 uh, in the description below so um, I'm gonna show you again in this video on what to do but you can watch it in the description uh, and you can skip throughout the video if you already know how to do it so um, first of all you're gonna need links in the description VirtualBox, VMware WinRAR, you don't have to download both of these by the way, you can download either one. WinRAR you'll need because of uh, the files that will be in the description. Password bottom right of the video um, for desktop users, mobile users, link is in the description. Um, I don't know why I said that, but that's okay. So, now you're going to go to VirtualBox or VMware and hit new and go ahead and do Windows 95 and then hit next leave it at 64 megabytes, hit next, create a virtual hard drive, go to settings, storage, go to the empty disk and find the MS-DOS 7.1 disk and then hit open, hit OK and then go ahead and start. And it will now start up the machine. What you want to do is hit enter and this is the uh, MS-DOS installation. Hit enter again, enter. Make sure I agree is selected. Next, continue, enter. Enter to reboot. Hit enter again. Hit enter again. <laughs> Lots of entering here. Enter, uh, make sure that's selected. Hit enter on next, uh, enter. Rewrite, yes, enter, next, enter, enter again. Disable, install add-ons by hitting the space bar on that, then next, yes, okay, uh, yes, 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 enable both, load both, continue, continue, okay. And then before you reboot, go ahead and remove the uh, disk. And then go ahead and reboot. And then press any key. And now you've got MS-DOS installed. So now you can go ahead and insert the Windows 95 disk. So by going to choose and finding the Windows 95 disk. Go to D colon and type setup. First of all, type in dir, dir, and make sure that setup.exe is there. And if it is, go ahead and type in setup.exe. Hit enter, and then hit enter again to do the scan disk. And here we go with the installation of Windows 95. Go ahead and continue. Hit yes on the license and terms agreements. Uh, just hit OK on this hit next and this is what you want hit next and do the typical installation next it's going to ask you for product key um, that will be with the uh, RAR file in the description I forgot to include it in the last video I did there was no product key included which I eventually did put a link in the description this will for sure be there I apologize for that in the last video of Windows 95 that I did but this will be included so I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in quick and I'll be with back with you guys once I get that in Okay, so I got that entered in, and after you enter it in, you'll get to the user information. You gotta uh, enter a name. I'm just gonna enter everything in pan. 
hit next and you can do whatever you want. I'm going to select both of these and hit next. It's going to analyze your computer and this can take some time. Okay, once that's finished, you're going to do install the most common components, hit next. Um, go ahead and hit no on this, hit next, next again, and it's going to copy files. And this can take some time, but it should go fairly quickly. As you can see on the bottom there, you can see the percentage. Of course, there is an exit button, but you don't want to hit that. And you're just going to let it sit. This should not take too long. It should take maybe about 30 seconds to a minute maybe two minutes it'll show you your little uh, splash screens here of um, what you can do with Windows 95 and once it gets finished here with copying the files we'll get to the next screen We're almost at a hundred there we go and here um, just go ahead and hit yes until that's gone away and hit finish and then go ahead and remove this and I'm going to show you guys a problem that some of you may have after you do this so after you eject it hit OK it's going to try and start it and it will give you the Windows protection error now what you need to do is you need to go ahead and put in the fix 95 CPU ISO and then reset the machine and it will load that up go ahead and hit any key hit N any key that's going to install a 90 Windows 95 CPU fix and then after that's finished, go ahead and eject that disk and then press any key to restart. Or you can just go up and reset the machine. Plus I started Windows 95. So you do have to reset. You have to go up and do a hard reset up there. Go ahead and hit OK on this. And then for most people, you just type work group, hit close, it's going to do more copying of files, if this just comes up just hit OK, you don't need to put in anything, then just hit cancel. Now it's going to do more setting up of the of Windows 95. It'll do some control panel configuring, put some programs in the start menu, um, some stuff with Windows Help, as well as MS-DOS program settings, and then we'll get to the time zone settings, and it will come up with a window right there that asks for your time zone, and I'm going to go ahead and do that quick. Apply it, hit OK, and for this you can just cancel it and now you can go ahead and click OK and then you're just gonna have to keep pressing keys and for a little bit until it gets to that VNet BIOS and it'll just sit here for a bit and if this comes up just hit OK twice and there you go Windows 95 has been installed. You heard the um, startup sound there. And now what some people may do is they'll be like, oh, um, I can't, like if they go to properties and settings, they can't change colors or their screen resolution. They'll be like, what the heck's the problem with that? Well, you need to install a uh, driver for that. What you need to do is go ahead and insert a ISO called driver.iso. It should just say driver. You put it in there and go right click, hit properties, then go to settings up on the top, hit advanced properties, go to change, then click have disk, then browse, then here go to G, this, then go to uni, and then go to um, just uni, click OK, 
click OK again, and then click OK again, click Apply, OK, and then just click Close on this, and then just ignore the error message by clicking Close, and then just go ahead and restart. Okay, so when you restart, oops. and if you get this, just go up to machine and hit reset and it'll reboot again and you won't have that blue screen of death problem. And it will boot regularly, just hit OK twice. So you may have to tweak around with it. It just depends on what you uh, what you have. So um, that's my updated tutorial on how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox or VMware. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this one was an easier tutorial. You can skip the display adapter stuff if you want. You don't have to do that, so, but it's just an optional thing if you want it. So um, like the video if it helped you out, and uh, hopefully this one should help a lot of people out because a lot of people are getting errors. So. We'll see what happens, but um, comment for uh, give, to give me ideas on what I should do next. Um, also, share so other people can see this, and subscribe for more videos. It encourages me to make videos when people subscribe. It is just insane. So, once again, thank you guys for watching.